Besides being a zombie's favorite food, the brain somehow manages to process every stimulus that we come into contact with. But what happens when porn is the stimulus? This is Intrigology. In case you weren't aware, don't lie guys, you're very aware. Pornography is material that depicts sexual organs or sexual activity. But why is it so addictive? While you watch, the brain releases chemicals called neurotransmitters that work together to make you crave the feeling that watching porn gives you. Dopamine, which makes you feel good, rewards you for doing something essential to survival such as eating, exercising, and making babies. Norepinephrine helps you remember. Oxytocin helps create an association of porn and good feeling, and serotonin causes you to feel relaxed. So what's the difference between watching a normal movie and a pornographic one? Let's say this blue guy is watching a normal neutral movie, while this red guy is watching a sexually explicit one. What's the difference? Nothing extraordinary happens to the blue guy, however, the red guy's dopamine levels rise and his visual field narrows because less blood is now needed in his brain's visual cortex. That blood is now being used in his naughty bits. But why is the blood taken from his visual cortex? Ever heard the myth that masturbating makes you blind? This myth comes from the visual cortex losing blood due to the fact that masturbating and watching porn doesn't require a precise perception of the entire visual field. But what about the neurotransmitters? These are being released in his brain and cementing the association between porn and pleasure. After prolonged consumption, the brain becomes desensitized to the levels of dopamine released when watching porn. Now he has to consume more in order to achieve the same high. Porn consumption has also been linked to decreased sexual drive, relationship problems, and erectile dysfunction. The brain is always changing through a process called plasticity. Watching porn literally changes the brain, creating new neural networks that are reinforced by the release of dopamine. Real sexual encounters tend to lose their potency because they cannot compete with the levels of dopamine released when watching porn. Therefore, many men quickly lose interest in their partner, preferring the novelty of having many partners that porn offers instead. It's not all terrible, there is hope. Quitting porn is much easier than quitting cocaine, a drug that elicits similar responses from the brain. It is possible to quit immediately and not experience any major negative side effects. Besides, you can release dopamine by exercising, doing the nasty with a real person, and eating amino acid rich foods such as turkey, soy, and chocolate. All it takes is a little willpower. Intrigued by something? Leave it in the comments below or on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to hit that naughty like button or whip that sexy subscribe button, and I'll see you next week.